What's going on guys? Good morning. It is currently 7.59 in the morning and I am eating breakfast. Today I'm going to take you through a full day of a day in the life of an engineer. So I'm going to show you the typical things I'll be doing in university, the typical things like my journey to uni and stuff. Just the way, like my general day, I'm just going to take you through it. So currently I am eating meal one of six for the day. I'm eating porridge. I will also be getting a second breakfast in university and still for engineering one of those things is like we have really long days but then we're only in like two big days per week so like we're in nine till six but that's it for the week so that's quite nice you guys might be wondering why i'm actually up so early like it's 7 59 i've been up but i showered and everything so i actually get up at about seven o'clock in the morning even though my lectures start at nine mainly because like i live in Ridvelin. so if you guys don't know where that is that's next to the big tesco which is down one junction in forest it's about two miles from campus anyway so it takes me about 20 minutes to cycle in in the morning and that's what we'll be doing together now you know as much as i complain to josie which is my girlfriend by the way about like cycling in the morning like i always get this view so i always get to cross i might as well stop and show you the taff river every single morning which is absolutely amazing plus if any of you know me or follow me you'll know that i'm into fitness so like this knocks out cardio three times a week for me i don't have to worry about it in the gym because i'm cycling for four miles a day and i like make sure that i put the effort in every day and it just means i can spend an extra three days actually like putting full effort into the weights in the gym so that's always good anyway i'm about halfway now so another 10 minutes to go to cycle it's not going to be a scenic so i'm going to put the camera away and catch you guys up in uni also this is the first time i vlogged while cycling and i'm super impressed with my cycling skills like i'm pretty good at this okay guys so coming up behind me is j block which is better known as johnstown for those of you who still call blocks by their actual names this is basically where all of the engineering so electrical engineering my course and stuff like computer science and stuff is based mainly because this is where like all the labs are for us so this is where we will do most of our practical work as well as our final year project which i'm going to be showing some of you today because i'm taking you through a multi-sim like that's my assignment at the minute so you guys will get to see a little bit of that we're heading into a lecture now so i won't be able to film for obvious reasons plus i should probably get my head down into some work because it is currently week like 22 23 something like that and i feel like i know less than i did last year so that is not good i think i'm probably going to catch you guys up in my break so when i go for a second lunch no second breakfast meal two so this is meal two Two and we're eating in stilts now. They currently have a deal on for it's like 475 for Christmas dinner So I'm gonna tuck into this now and then head back to lectures And I'm probably gonna try and interview some of my friends today as well and get their views on the course Okay guys, so we are back in lectures now and I'm doing a little bit of multi sim stuff So this is like our simulation program, which we run in all the labs We do simulation before we do any practical work Which is quite limited on the course to be honest because like most of it's done like this a bit of coding and stuff Which Tom is actually studying himself he's doing embedded systems for one of his modules we had the choice between that and control so like why did you choose embedded I did it because um, embedded systems is such a such a broadening field it will soon become a ginormous entity in the world market and on the world stage and I feel that it is much more important than control even though control is a very good thing to have I, I mean I slightly disagree because I chose control and I think controls a little bit better but also because like I'm not a massive fan of coding myself anyway see I really enjoy coding in embedded systems you code in C as opposed to C++, C Sharp, Java and stuff like that. With C for Embedded you can actually see like your output because it's all connected to a board. At the moment we're using the Renaissance Synergy boards which are really cool and we're learning how to um, create a touch screen and program the touch screen. And yeah, like, you know, it's great when you're doing something on a computer and then you can look down and you can see that you know, you've, you've created almost life to this board in a strange way. <laughs> so what Tom's trying to say is you actually get like an output and you see a physical result from your coding. That's pretty much what he's trying to say anyway. Long-winded way of putting it, but yeah. That's Tom, one of my mates on the course. I would introduce you to my other friends, but they're not a fan of being on camera. So I'm going to get oh, cracking on this work now because the assignment deadline is nearly due. And then I'll catch up with you when I finish a little bit of this. So it's currently half past five and we are finishing up in uni. Actually, I'm going to head to the Randy Dragon first and get some food and then come back because it's deadline day and we've all got to get our assignments in. Yeah, that's kind of the way it's going at the moment in the day in the life of an engineer. Anyway, I'm going to sign the vlog out here, guys, and everyone else is going to sign it out for me, I think. So say goodbye, Tom. Oh, boys. Goodbye. Oh, boys. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Brian. <laughs>
<laughs> See, this is why I didn't put him on camera because it was super awkward. Catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.